Hey everybody, this is my house. I've been living here for about a year now. And I'm moving out today. Five sixteen North Bruno. That's where I'm at. It was built uh, about turn of the century. It was a carriage house to a plantation located right across the road there. See, you can still see the steps right there. That's what that's from. And about 1920, it was moved across the road to where it stands now. And uh, some modifications were made on it around that time. This front part here, that was built on, I guess, uh, part of the DIY movement where uh, everybody wanted to uh, just build their own shit. Anyway, that's, where th that's when this front part was added on here, and we're going to go in in a minute, and I'm going to show it to you. So anyway, my landlord got a deal with the contractors that own this shit back here. And uh, well, they wanna buy the property and tear it down. So I have fought it for the past several months, tried to get this thing on the historical registry, but they just don't have the time or the money. So in a few months, my house here and this house built uh, sometime in the 20s. Uh, former neighbor Tom just moved out of here several weeks ago. Cool guy, moved to Pennsylvania. Anyway, these two places are gonna go. This place is gonna remain for, uh, I guess, physically disabled kids. So. I thought that uh, I should get some footage here of uh, the place I've been living for the past year because that ain't going to be here much longer. Anyway, this used to be a bamboo forest when I first moved here. All of this was bamboo everything that everything from from here on around just a big bamboo jungle actually before I moved here this parking lot used to be a big bamboo uh, jungle as well kind of an open field that's uh, like over here on this side but uh, after I lived here a few months they found I guess they claim they found a dead body back here in the bamboo and uh, they had some homeless people living back here and that was pretty scary. So they tore the bamboo down so they wouldn't, um, so the homeless people wouldn't live back here. Anyway, this oak tree here is one of the oldest patriarch oaks in the area. And it's pretty friggin' huge. Probably one of the oldest patriarch oaks in Leon County. I was thinking about building a house up here and living up here. Because, uh, you know, you could, uh, you could put a house up there. And, uh, well, that would be pretty friggin' sweet. But, uh, they're gonna turn this area into a park, apparently, so that's why they're taking this house. By the way, did you know that my house here is one of the, uh, oldest remaining homes in Frenchtown? See, Frenchtown is supposed to be a, uh, historic area, but, um... <laughs> There's nothing historic about it because, uh, I mean, it's pretty much just a ghetto. They tore 
all the historic buildings down back in the 80s. So, um, this house here remains one of few in the Frenchtown area that still uh, are here from the turn of the century. Like I said, carriage house. Carriages went here and, well, like I said, we'll go up and check up the upstairs. My living space. I've got this habit of uh, leaving my keys in the door. I have no idea why I started doing that. So this is about the way it's looked for the past year. I never really unpacked. Never really uh, found a place for this stuff. Not a whole lot of closet space, anyway. Let me show you these windows. These, these windows are really cool, these push-out windows. This is probably like, the first thing about this place that really, really appealed to me. Hold on a second. See, back in the winter, this was really cool. And before it, you know, got really hot. This was just like such a cool way to get fresh air, you know? Just push these things open, dude. I used to have these things open all the time. So, you know, if it was up to me, I'd probably stay here another year or two, because, uh, you know, I had a lot of plans on what I wanted to do with this place. I've lived in shitty places with crappy roommates for a while, and, um, well, it doesn't really get much more free than this. I wonder why the fuck work is calling me on Saturday, man. This is bullshit. I hate this shit. So anyway, the issue is not really the fact that I gotta move out of this place. For four fifty a month, you just really don't see uh, places uh, around Tallahassee that are this sweet, this unique. I mean, it's just kind of a waste to demolish a place like this. There's really nothing wrong with it. And, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff from different, uh, I don't know, different time periods of the life of this house that I could not figure out. Like, you know, like you just have certain things. Like, I think this used to be part of the old, uh, like, uh, windows that used to be here that was 
you know, they kind of pushed out, except they pushed out from the top instead of the bottom. And uh, I think one of them actually still has the the little pull cord thing. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, that's uh, it's like how the windows used to pop out back in the day. I have yet to go in the attic. I will go in the attic before I move out of here, though. And I'm going to start moving my stuff out today, but I'm not ultimately going to leave this place until tomorrow, so that'll kind of give me some time to do this stuff that I haven't been wanting to do for a while. That I've been wanting to do since I moved here. You know, you gotta get used to that gas smell. Uh, it's just kind of part of it. As you can tell, I've really never had a whole lot for furniture. This is definitely a pad of solitude. Never got any bar stools. I like one of the many pieces of furniture that uh, I wanted to add to this place, but I never really had the chance. So. Yeah, I've been working uh, the same job for a whole year. I stay on the road. Didn't get to spend nearly as much time in this place as I wanted. 